The Gazelle Arroyo C8 HNB Elite is back for 2022 with a couple of key redesign features. You guys probably know Royal Dutch Gazelle because, I mean, let's face it, they are in fact royalty out of the Netherlands. They are some of the best commuting and leisure bikes you can get. So let's take a look today at one of their best. It's the Gazelle Arroyo C8 HNB Elite. Or anything else, we gotta talk about specs, baby. Let's talk about specs, baby. Starting off at that motor, we have got the Bosch Active Line Plus on this bike with 50 newton meters of torque. That is a motor, if you're not familiar with it, that is designed to feel like an acoustic bike. So it's going to offer that 50 newton meters of torque, but it disengages from the motor after that 20 mile per hour limit very well, is basically the whole point of this motor, which is the type of thing you would want to see on a commuting leisure bike like the Gazelle. Arroyo C8. It gives a very classic feel to that classically designed Dutch bike. That's going to partner with a 500 watt hour power tube battery sitting nice and sleek in that down tube. Speaking of the down tube, as you can see, there is no top tube on this bike, so that is going to make this one a wave frame. For commuters and leisure riders, I really think the wave frame is fantastic. Whether you're going to get groceries or you've got all your gear for work behind you, it is much easier to just step over that low wave frame as opposed to having to throw your leg over the top two. Speaking of wave frame bikes, I am curious to see if you guys have ridden any wave frame bikes and what your favorites were. So let me know in the comments below real quick before you keep watching this video, which ones you have ridden and which have been your favorite. But let's continue talking about the Arroyo. The Bosch Active Line Plus motor is going to partner with a Shimano Nexus 8-speed rear hub. This is a classic internally geared drivetrain that I think works better than ever this year. Your group set is rounded out with Tektro hydraulic disc brakes on a 180 millimeter rotor up front and a 160 millimeter rotor in the back. Honestly, that 180 millimeter rotor is pretty beefy for this type of bike, so that's nice to see. Even though you're only getting two piston hydraulic disc brakes, I think it is going to be plenty of stopping power. Something that Gazelle has been very successful with and continues to be this year are their comfort features. You do have some travel up front in that nice aluminum fork. It's going to be about 30 millimeters of travel, and that's going to be matched in the back with a suspension seat post. Gazelle simply lists that seat post as sprung, which I think is pretty cool, but it is a very comfortable ride. Of course, you've got that wave frame and you have the gazelle switch stem, which is a way that you can make the handlebars work for you no matter how you like to ride. So if you want them really far back and you can sit totally upright, that's cool. If you want to put them forward and get a little more aerodynamic, you can do that as well. This is such a better system than say getting a regular commuting electric bike and then putting on an adjustable stem that you got to mess around with a hex wrench and all that. With the Gazelle switch stem, all you have to do is unlock it, mess around with it however you want, put it in whatever position, and then you just put it back in as you're seeing right here. On any commuting or leisure bike, you definitely want a rear rack, and I prefer mine integrated as this one is. That rear rack is going to carry 27 kilograms, which is an upgrade from the typical like 22 to 25 range. Doesn't sound like much, but it's really almost five more pounds. Plus, you have an integrated rear light as well. This thing is pretty beefy too. It gives off a lot of light. And fenders on both wheels, with that front wheel having an integrated light as well. On top of all that, you have got the AXA Defender Cafe Lock. I really like having these cafe locks in there. It is so easy to come in and just swipe a wheel, but you don't have to worry about that with this Defender Lock. All you have to do is lock this thing up, and then your drivetrain and your rear wheel are totally safe. So I've always had great experiences on Gazelle bikes, and I gotta say, the Gazelle Arroyo C8 for 2022 is really no different. This is an extremely comfortable ride, not just in the specs, but also in the actual usage of the bike. The versatility of that Gazelle switch then makes it a bike that is just as capable as cruising by the beach as it is of commuting on a daily basis. What helps a lot with that is that Bosch Active Line Plus motor and the 500 watt hour battery. Because it's a lower torque motor, you are not using as much power, so I was pretty easily able to get between 30 and 40 miles, no problem. If you're being more conservative, I would say you would actually be able to go higher than that 40 mile mark as well. 
I'm a big fan of the Active Line Plus motor because it can keep you in the action, but honestly, if you pump it up to turbo, you're gonna have no problem getting up some pretty significant climbs, especially when it's partnered with that Shimano Nexus 8-speed drivetrain. I couldn't find a spec on exactly what the gear ratio was here, but to me, it felt that it offered about as wide a gear ratio as a 9 or 10-speed derailleur bike. The other benefit of this motor is that if you are a person who still gets a little bothered by motor noise, there is almost none on the Active Line Plus motor, so that is something to consider. Some of you might be looking at those Schwalbe Active Plus tires and wondering if they're going to offer you enough forgiveness if you're hitting any potholes or anything like that. And I gotta tell you, if you're coming from an acoustic background, these are actually pretty chunky. And I think as an electric bike rider, you're going to be happy to have those 47C tires when you get past that 20 miles per hour. The Bosch Active Line Plus is gonna let you go over 20 miles per hour. And those tires not being too, too chunky, like a plus size commuter, means that you're going to be able to get past that 20 mile per hour limit even more easily. Plus that 30 millimeters of suspension in that front fork does offer a lot of forgiveness as well. You will sometimes experience some squirreliness in these wave frame bikes, but I really didn't feel that in the Arroyo, especially when you had those handlebars a little bit lower. I felt like it was really sturdy and I never felt squirrely going into turns on the Arroyo. One of the other benefits of buying from Gazelle is that because they have been doing this style of bike for so long, that the Gazelle Arroyo C8 is going to perform just about as well as any other bike in their lineup. But if you do run into any issues with the availability of the Arroyo C8, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Ultimate C8 or upgrading all the way up to the Ultimate C380 HMB. These bikes are going to offer some nice upgrades, like in the case of the Ultimate C380, upgrading to that Enviolo C380 drivetrain with a Gates Carbon belt drive and also a stronger Bosch motor. The Gazelle Ultimate C8 will upgrade you to things like a Gates Carbon belt drive and a little bit more travel in that suspension fork. But with any of the Gazelle bikes, you cannot really go wrong this year in terms of a commuting or leisure bike, especially at the price of the Gazelle Arroyo C8, which is only going to run you right around $3,700. But you can get pricing on all the Gazelle bikes by clicking this link right up here if you want to go check out the Gazelle bikes on flyridesusa.com or the first link in the description below. Don't forget to like this video. Also, if you're looking for more Gazelle reviews or just electric bike reviews in general, make sure to subscribe to the Fly Rides Electric Bike channel so you don't miss out. While you're here, why not go check out what it's like to live life on a Gazelle electric bike or check out any of our other videos. Thanks for watching, you guys, and until next time, enjoy the ride.